I was talking to my brother the other day. We were talking about purpose. We were talking about the fact that he just started uh, driving trucks. And you know I drive trucks. That's the job that actually saved me from the streets. You know what I'm saying? Once I, once I got that CDL, got um, I got a good job, it, it catapulted me into a different way of thinking. I, 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 it allowed me to detach myself from negative thoughts and, and negative people and get my life on track. My brother going through the same thing right now. He getting his, his life together. His life is, is, is finally getting to a point where he sees light at the end of the tunnel. So we was talking about this because, like I was telling him, like, I've been doing this for a long time now, about going on about 12 years. And this is something that I want to get out of. So I told my brother straight up, I said, hey, listen, I know this is not a job that you're going to want to do for the rest of your life. So uh, be on the lookout for something else that, can, that you can transition to to help you get to where you really want to be. So we talked about that for a little while, so on and so forth, you know, ended that conversation. And then I ended up getting on this on this tangent where I started telling him that the, the, the goal of every black man needs to be to show a great example of what a, a thriving, responsible uh, black man should be. We should be out here showing examples of good men for the younger portion of our community. Because right now what they got, what they got their attention focused on is the, the most toxic examples of a black man or a black woman. Our girls, they're growing up looking at women that's, you know, shaking their behind on TV all day, on TikTok all day, on Instagram all day, talking about getting over on a man, getting the bag out of a man, and so on and so forth. The good women that's out here taking care of themselves, loving themselves, uh, going to therapy, reading, educating themselves, uh, making money, um, staying out of trouble, and all that kind of stuff. Those are the women that we look. Well, they look at as, oh girl, you you basic, you basic. That girl probably got more money in the bank than you. She's respected in her community more than you. She ain't out here worrying about some dude probably sleeping with this girl and that girl and that girl in the club because that's where you get your men from. She probably living her best life, having enjoying her time being single. But those we ain't, we don't promote those. We don't we don't show those on the big screen. We don't we don't highlight those kind of women too much because they're not lit. Same thing for the black men. These young boys, they looking at the rappers. They looking at the dudes that's around here talking about uh, having a whole bunch of women and oh you can't trust women and you know just run through them as much of them as you can get high get drunk drink lean you know what i'm saying spend all your money on expensive cars and clothes that you really can't afford die with nothing don't build no wealth don't have a life insurance policy people got to throw a barbecue for you when you're dead it's every black man and black woman's responsibility to show an exemplary uh uh <laughs> A black person you need to be showing yourself in the highest light possible do not allow yourself to be around here and be uh, represented by the worst of our community we allow too much toxicity to go on in our in our community in our quote neighborhoods we allow the rappers to, to talk about the stuff that they talk about and encourage our kids our teenagers to, to uh, do the same thing they do sad to say but i'm actually a little i'm start I'm, I'm starting to like the fact that these rappers are being held accountable for what they say in their songs i don't like to see people go to jail but when you do crime that's where you go and they talking about oh they shouldn't be allowed to use lyrics in in, in um courtrooms and stuff like that them lyrics motivate young boys to throw their lives away every day so those lyrics that you say out your mouth, if they decide, hey, we're going to use this because we know you done rapped about a murder that you did back in 2012 or whatever the case may be, you done rapped about this and we're going to use this to, to, uh, to convict you. So be it. <laughs> That's what it is. When you do crime, you got to go to jail. But we get, we get irate. Free so-and-so. 
You know what I'm saying? Put them on a t-shirt. Free so-and-so. So-and-so been doing a lot of hurt to our community for a lot of years. And ain't it went unchecked. Done encouraged a whole lot of boys to throw their lives away just like him. Now he having to face the music. And now everybody up in arms. He didn't he wasn't thinking about your little boy or your little girl when he was rapping that stuff he was rapping. So why you worried about trying to save him? <laughs> now that the life he created for himself done caught up with him. As a black, as a community, if you actually want to have a community, we have to police our community. We shouldn't be okay with certain things going on in our community. Women need to be checking other women because that example is probably going to be what people look at you and see. When people look at TV and TikTok and all they see is women twerking and acting a fool, they look at y'all and measure y'all by the same uh, measuring stick. Just like when black men act, act a certain way online and all that kind of junk, they'll look at me and say, oh, you, you probably just like him. I get it all the time. Certain dudes done cheated on their wives and stuff like that. You will see somebody come in in my video. Hey, you, you just like so-and-so. You know what I'm saying? So, that's all I wanted to say this morning, man. I just... <laughs> I woke up on one, I guess you can say, but you get what I'm saying. We talk about black community, black community, black unity and everything else, but we all over the place. We need to be out here being the best examples of, of black people that we can possibly be in order to change something. We need to be uh, we need to be putting the, the, the people that's out here doing toxic stuff and promoting toxic ideas, we need to be putting them in a box and not letting them, we, we shouldn't let them do the stuff they do so freely we need to hold them accountable and furthermore if you a man or a woman online talking about relationships and stuff like that the best way for you to change how relationships are looked at is by being in a good relationship these men i see them every morning all they do is get online you know i, I get on tiktok and scroll while i'm in the gym and stuff like that and i see these dudes complaining about women complaining about women complaining about women there are good women out here. There are bad women out here. The way that you should be around here trying to affect, affect the change is by leading by example. Go get you a good woman and settle down. The truth is you don't want to settle down. You like the women that don't want to settle down. You like the women that's out here being loose and all that kind of stuff because you don't have to commit. It gives you an excuse to not commit when you're dealing with women that you know you can't trust. So you'll deal with them and complain about them. Deal with them, complain about them. Deal with them, complain about them. You can go find you a good woman and, and live your life. Build something. Be faithful. But you don't want to do that. You just want to complain. And you want to indulge in the, in the fornication and everything else and the lust. You happy doing that. But, once again... The viewers that watch these people, they encourage that behavior because they ain't keeping people, they ain't holding people accountable. <laughs> but we let these people shape culture. And we shouldn't be doing that. What's going to help us get to a better place in society? Strong family structures. Men and women being there for their kids. Emotionally, physically, spiritually. We don't teach our kids about God. We just walk around living our life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then when our kids get in some trouble, then we start praying for them. No, we need to be teaching them about God when they little. We need to be telling, telling, showing kids that blowing all your money that you get on designer handbags and designer belts and shoes is not what the average person can afford to do. A lot of these rappers can't even afford to do it. They go broke all the time. need to be teaching your kids that they should feel value without having to ride in the bins. I done had several uh, luxury cars. I don't feel, no, matter of fact, I feel better about myself now that I'm riding around in something a little more basic because I don't need something to validate me. I don't need a car to validate me.
going to therapy because we got a lot of unhealed trauma that's been passed down through the generations <laughs> it's just not becoming cool to talk about people having issues we need more we need more of that encourage your family members to talk about their issues go seek professional help talking to me or, or you know as like my like my family they we, they talk to me about a lot of this stuff but i can only do so much sometimes things are a little more uh a little more difficult and you need to go see somebody that may be able to give you some medicine you know what i'm saying but that's all i gotta say about that i'm gonna cut this video off right here i think i done rented enough for this morning <laughs> but i'll see y'all on the next one